Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers and welcome to today's video all about Plectrums and in particular my favorite brand, Gravity Picks. So as many of you will know, I have been using my signature Gravity Pick for, I mean literally years now. I think it's been about four years, maybe even five years since I've been using Gravity Picks. But the truth is, I've only ever really used one shape and so today, I thought I would talk a little bit about them and I would try a whole load of different kinds of gravity picks and see if maybe I made a mistake or if I would want to amend my design or if some of them are just good for different kinds of things. So we'll start with <clears throat> the Rob Chapman gravity pick. It's just, um, you know what I'll do? I'll actually film it close up on my phone at the same time as talking to you, and then you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see it. I'm just going to clap it in, so it's synchronized. So yeah, here is my my gravity pick. You can see the shape. It's really sharp at the end, and the ends are master finished. So they're chamfered off, and then they are sort of roughed. They're not smooth polished, and in my opinion, it gives a different kind of well, a nice soft sound to the attack the strings. It's the Razor 2 that I use. Uh, and I suppose what you probably would want to know is why do I use it? Well, <clears throat> the shape for me is the most efficient at slicing through the strings. So when I am doing alternate or economy picking or playing intricate riffs and patterns, I find that a really angled shape like this is great for slicing through. <laughs> So what you're probably asking is, why do I use this particular shape? Well, to be honest, for me, it's all about speed and efficiency. So when I'm picking a string, if I angle the pick uh, to cut through the string, so not flat on, but angled down, I find this shape of pick the razor to be really effective at picking quickly if I need to go fast. <laughs> It's just really quick. It does exactly what you would want in a really stealthy, quick, see-through black, slightly thick plectrum. But can I get that from others? So we'll start off with something a little bit different. This is the Striker Standard, and this is a three mil thick plectrum. It's pretty damn thick. I like a thick pick, but this might be a little bit on the over the top side. Um, the, the sides are almost the same angle, if not the same angle. Uh, I love the color, by the way. And you can see that the edges are, are polished. So what I think I'm gonna get is a, a slight ping, ping, ping when I pick the strings. Let's find out if I get a ping, ping, ping. <laughs> You hear that? It's a very slight note. Some people like it, some people don't. Still a really fast plectrum. I'm going to kill some of the reverb in a minute because Rubio was playing with my pedal board and he sets the reverb insanely high, or did at least in this particular instance. I, um, it's not quite enough of a sharp point for me, but it's really fast, and I think it would be great for rhythm. Funnily enough, it's actually really growing on me and I didn't expect it to. So that just shows uh, how I've been slightly set in my ways. Uh, the rounded edge means that it glides uh, pretty easily over the strings. You do get that ping, 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 ping. 
Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the reverb down and try another one. The Sunrise Standard 1.5. You can see what this is kind of taking after. This is much thinner for me. I use a two mil pick, sometimes three. And so it's one and a half. The edge is definitely still polished and it's much sharper angle than my pick is, I think. So let's find out what this sounds like. Could be awful, might make no difference whatsoever. <laughs> It's much easier to squeal with this pick. It's kind of the angle, and I think because it's less thick, it's making it easier for me to be accurate with the harmonics, which is interesting. I don't dislike it. Again, it's kind of uh, altered my expectations. Really didn't think I would. I don't tend to like picks that are that kind of thing. By the way, this is what you look like. You look like this <laughs> to me. Anyway, next pick, we're gonna go Uber. This one is huge. So this is a giant uh, ridiculousness of three mil. For some reason, the other one was three mil. This one seems bigger. But this has got the master edge. So rather than it being polished, uh, it's chamfered off and then it is roughed. So what you get is you don't get that ping, 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 which I like. I think I'm gonna like this one. This is the classic standard. So let's check it out. Well, it's got me sweeping for the first time in ages, which is really unusual for me. I kind of left that all behind in the uh, early 2000s uh, after doing a lot of Ingve Malmsteen and realizing I'd never be as good as he was. I like it. I wish it was slightly sharper of a point, but I like the thickness. I find that the thickness is reassuring. I feel like it won't leave my hand as easily. I don't often drop a pick anyway, but when I do, I make sure it's a gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try another one of these crazy things. See if you can guess which color I'm gonna pick next. That's right, you guessed it correctly. It's blue. So this one is a razor like mine, except that this one has a hole in the center. So here's mine and here's the blue razor. And the only real difference is that mine has a bit of a deeper bevel and this one has a circle in the center. Uh, which should, all things being equal, give it a better grip. So let's find out if this hole, if this removing uh, material makes a bigger difference to the grip feel. It, it does make a difference. <laughs> it makes a difference because the side of my first finger sits in the hole. It kind of squidges the flesh into that hole and then the flesh of my thumb fits into it too. So it feels like the pick is more secure. I wonder what that would be like on a, on a thicker pick. It's familiar to me because the shape is the same. I like the fact that it's a little bit more grippy with the hole. So this has been a really interesting experience for me to try the razor standard with a hole. I don't know whether they call it something uh, different just because it has a hole. There you go, there's a close up. This one's been battered in my box. 
<laughs> I guess last, because we don't want to talk about picks all day long. This is huge. This is a six mil classic standard. And it's got this kind of almost like button configuration in the middle. Again, it's a whole series of holes, seven holes, I guess for the seven tones of the diatonic major scale. And this is entirely polished. So it doesn't have the master finish. I think this is going to be like playing with a lozenge. <laughs> let's, let's find out, shall we? Yeah, I already made a mistake by touching another string by, uh, by accident. hard to play accurately with a pick that is literally this wide. It, it is insane. I mean, if I put it in between the strings, you've really only got a few mil left before you're touching a string. So I'm finding accuracy really hard. Is it any better for rhythm? It's a lot better for rhythm. This really is a rhythm pick. I mean, good luck to you if you play lead with it, but for me, this is way too inaccurate for playing lead. And uh, I think you need really between two and three mil. But six mil, it's a rhythm megalothon, meliathon, me megalodon, me me maniac. I don't know, it's a megatron. <laughs> it's enjoyable, but it's absolutely not for me. Well, I really hope that has been in any way an interesting insight into some of the uh, some of the different kinds of picks that gravity do and what some of the different shapes can offer you. Here are some of the other ones I didn't play because they were too small. Uh, I really don't like small picks. I like picks that feel big in the hand, but not that they over encumber you. Nobody wants to be over encumbered. That's that should be left for Skyrim. That's always an issue there. Well, I guess that's about it. That was a talk about plectrums. I hope it was in any way useful for you. I guess I like what I've got, but I would probably go thicker and put a hole in it. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the future of my gravity pick. I don't know. You guys take it easy. Chappers out.